Hello everyone from Senior Vitality. This is Janelle from Community Tech Network and welcome back to our channel. So today I'll be going over the Contacts app. So what is the Contacts app exactly? You, you could treat it like an address book. Contacts app allows you to add contact information of any individual you want. And also from the Contacts app, you're actually able to contact them via some of the apps here of communication. So that includes iMessage, FaceTime, and email. So let's go ahead and check out the app and see how it works. Okay, so it is an app that comes with your iPad, so you just have to find it within your main home screen. If you deleted it, you could always go back to the App Store and get it back. But you should find it. It looks just like this labeled contacts. I'm going to go ahead and give it a tap. All right. So generally, the contacts app just has these two different sections, this left hand side and then this right hand side. The left hand side is going to show you if you have any, your contacts, I believe it's categorized A through Z. If you don't have anything, or anyone added yet, then this will be blank. I just have one contact added so far. And then whenever you select a contact from this section, after you add one, then you'll see their information show up on the right side. To add a contact, you could touch this plus sign. Mm -hmm. To search for a contact, you could use the search bar. And then to edit a contact, so maybe add more information to a contact or maybe even delete them, things like that, you could go to the top right-hand corner and find that option. You're also able to share contacts information. So if you think of, again, like an address, address book, you're able to share the information that you have on that page just by tapping this option that you'll see come up at the bottom of a contacts page. This would be a way to share it with someone via any form of communication. Okay, so how do we add a contact? Like I mentioned, it's using that plus sign. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a tap. And right away, it just asks for some basic information. In this example, I'm going to add Philip Gerson from the Curry Senior Center. So it's asking for the first name, and I'm going to use my keyboard to write his name. Okay. And then as I finish, I just have to tap each section below. So go to the next one. Next thing is company. And you don't have to add the information that it's asking you. Everything is optional. Okay, so you could choose to skip any part. For company, I'm going to put the abbreviated S, Curry Senior Center, CSC. And then if I keep pushing up, I'll see some more options. So I could add a phone number. I just touch it. And I can choose here what kind of phone number I am providing. It automatically put mobile, but I could touch those blue words. And it has different suggestions about the kind of number it is. So I could pick one of these, or I could even add a custom label. In this case, it's going to be work. And I'm going to put the number in. All right. I could add more numbers or, you know, at any point I could also touch this red minus sign to, to get rid of that. 
and a push up. I will now add an email. Okay, and like I said, all of this is optional. You don't have to fill out everything in order for you to be able to use this. Just take your time so that the information is accurate. And again, I could specify what kind of email it is. So I will touch, you know, what's been automatically selected home. Instead, I'm going to change it to work. This is work email. Scroll up some more. I could choose a set default to go, uh, so, uh, sorry, a set ringtone or tone to go off whenever uh, my contact that I'm working on messages me. So I could choose, right now it's set to the default tone, but I could change that if I wanted. Add URL, so if there is a website affiliated with this contact, you could do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Curry Senior Center website. Curry Senior Center dot org okay. and again i could categorize that i'm going to leave it there as home page push up some more and here are some other options so add address you could add the birthday okay. just gonna put a try and base it off memory here from what he provided me all right and then here's some other options so add date to be honest i'm not too clear what that what, what that is my guess is when i put the contact info i could choose a date there add related name social profile instant message notes and i could add some more fields but that's the basic way to use it just to add the, that information and then whenever you're finished you would just hit done on the top right hand corner all right so after i've added philip's info onto my contacts app he now shows up on the left hand side again it's going in alphabetical order for me and then on the right side you know, whenever i select a contact from the left, it will show up here on the right. And so what's great is from the contacts app, like I mentioned, I can directly use some of the apps to reach him. Okay, so I could use any of these here. I could even touch any of this info below and it will direct me to an app so that I could use that information in a relevant way. So for example, I wanted to show you guys the iMessage option. So in order to do that, all I have to do is tap the option message. That's gonna use the iMessage app that we have on our iPads. So I'll give it a touch. Okay, and these two options show up. You know, iMessage is the app that is really for text messaging, but we don't have the option to text message the way you would using your smartphone, right? When you, you, when you do it that way, you're using a phone number, okay? But we don't have iPads that are SIM enabled. And so we're not able to contact someone with you know, a phone number that's not associated with their iOS device. And I believe that that number that I put in there is not associated with Philips iPad or Apple device. So instead I'm gonna use the email. And the reason why that works is because I believe that email address is actually the same thing as his Apple ID. Okay, so you can use the iMessage option if you have the Apple ID email address 
for your contact. Okay, so, and that's the same thing with your classmates. You know, if you're, if you've added them to your contacts app, if you've also included, you know, when you were adding them in, their curry email, their CSC PSV email, then you should be able to message them because that email is linked to their Apple ID. Okay, so you might tap message. And if you see your classmates email show up, don't get confused. You're still sending that text. You're still sending that iMessage. You're not sending an email. Okay, so just a quick note about that. I'm going to go ahead and tap that first one. Okay, and then from here, keyboard shows up. All I have to do is write. And I would just send him a message the way I normally would using the iMessage app. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys on the Contacts app. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.